Ooh, infinite love, life, and a good vibration. Uh, Diddy is being called out for capitalizing off hip hop instead of using creativity and using it to spread awareness of why hip hop was created. He has capitalized and made himself a billionaire off of our pain and suffering. I'm your host, Velvet, coming through you on this infinite Monday. Y'all know time change was yesterday. We also had a new moon. Mm-hmm. All kind of moon rituals went on, but I'm going to keep that to myself. Yeah, uh, Saigon is accusing Diddy of profiting and not doing, putting in that work, you guys. Like, Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. They ain't looking too good for Diddy. And to be honest with you guys, it never really was since November. Even before November, uh, we had rumors following Diddy. So, it is what but it is, you know what I'm saying? Rumors been following Diddy ever since the 90s. Like, but this rapper right here, if I don't know how old that song is, but he been on you, Diddy. Yes, he has. Diddy of ruining hip hop. Yep, I'm your host, Velvet, coming through for you, Diddy. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Diddy, 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 comma has been waiting for him. You know how they say, uh, if you knock at the door long enough, it just might get open. Hmm. That's what happened with Diddy. Diddy thought that it was going to be okay to get over on us, and he had the nerve. Say Diddy Grammy. Ah, you ain't mean none and, of this. And I changed my name to, my middle name to Love, so it's Sean Love Combs now. I didn't, you don't have to call me a different name. It's an added on name if you want to call me Love. So I say this with love to the Grammys, because um, you really need to know this. Every year, y'all be killing us, man. Man, I'm talking about the pain. I'm speaking for all the artists here, the producers, the executives. The the amount of time that it takes to make these records, to pour your heart out into it, and you just want an even playing field. In the great words of Erica Badu, we are artists and we are sensitive about our shit. We are passionate. Uh, you ain't sensitive. You ain't passionate. You ain't nothing. And if y'all notice those people that in the back of him, they were like, man, if you don't shut your behind on up, if you don't shut on up, because you don't move on up, you don't eat off all your artists. You don't eat off all your artists. Like uh, Mark Curry said, he had them singing, we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. And he said they never went nowhere because it's bad boys for life. Hmm. Yeah, Diddy has been blamed by Saigon for being the cause of hip hop so called creative downfall. Uh, Saigon uh, made a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, the rapper. Actor laid into the Embattled Bad Boys record founder and put blame on him for the rise of capitalism. Oh, but say it ain't so well. God damn. He also wrote that uh, this Negro Puffy flipped hip hop culture into all about worshiping nothing but money. That's why I'm kind of glad they got his ass up out of here. Go look at his content in hip hop before. 
all about the Benjamins. This Negro Puffy flipped hip hop culture into worshiping nothing but money. That's why, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> That's why I'm kind of glad they got this A double S. He got to go. Go look at the content in, in hip hop. Damn, who thinks Diddy did it? I told myself years ago if fame and money comes with all this type of they can't keep it. I stepped away from all this sugar, honey, iced tea to raise my babies, and I don't regret one second of it. After Diddy was accused of rape and a sexual assault by his ex-girlfriend, y'all know Cassie had don't put that. She tried. She wasn't playing with him. She said, give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Uh, last November, uh, Saigon, Saigon said on X, damn, who thinks Diddy did it? I told myself years ago, if fame and money comes with this type of stuff, they can keep it. I stepped away from all this to raise my babies. The greatest story never told. MC also previously slammed Harlem bread mogul for promoting alcohol in his video, saying nobody cares about your music career now, so you're pushing vodka. Rock boys. Every popular rapper you go hold on, you need your marketing. We'll pay for your marketing if you just promote this vodka poison that sugar honey iced tea is killing us and niggas do it every day why rip ross is that big that's why rip ross that's why every rip every rip ross video you see before he even comes on you see a bottle of syrup pass by the screen <clears throat> damn he, he already said he been having issues with the music industry after signing to atlanta records in 2004 collaborating with the likes of jay-z Kanye West, Jeff Blaze, the Brooklyn native found himself in a creative dispute with the record label. Not long afterwards, he afterwards he was stabbed in the head in New York and became the embroiled in a violent beef with Prodigy from Mob Deep and announced that he was retiring from rapping during his major label struggles. Uh, he appeared as himself on Entourage. Okay, well. He do got a song, I ain't gonna lie. And the song is about 20 years old, y'all. The song is about 20 years old. What y'all think about Saigon? What Saigon says about Diddy? Love. Love, 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 love. love. I need to find a video with him saying that. Love, 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 love. When he has not one ounce of remorse for what he did to them people when hitting their pockets up. I ain't lying. But anyhow, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the Velvet is Balanced Energy Channel. And I'm up out of here.